Yeah. All right. Uh, we got Sam Howell here. Uh, CL Brown, go ahead. Sam, uh, Mac Brown came on and said that uh, he felt like offensively you, look, you guys look like you did at times last year. Um, I know you've scored more points this year in some games, but how, how do you feel in terms of that statement? Did this feel like you were clicking on a level like, like the offense ran last year? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I don't really compare um, teams to other teams uh, like this year, last year, but, you know, I thought, I thought we played a, a pretty good game on offense. I think we still had a lot of mistakes. You know, I had the pick uh, late that really hurt us. Um, and, you know, we had, we had a drop on a screen pass um, on a play that Josh usually makes um, and some penalties um, that cost us as well. So, you know, we had opportunities. You know, I think the big thing for us and why we were able to play a decent game on offense is just we, we got everybody involved. You know, we had all, we had all the wideouts involved. We had the tight ends involved. Running backs were running the ball very well. I was running the ball a little bit. And I think we have all of our weapons kind of involved in the game plan. And, you know, I'm, I'm spreading the ball around. I think we're, we're really hard to stop. Okay, uh, let's go to Greg Barnes. Sam, uh, Josh Downs has, has called at least eight passes in, in every game this year. That's, that's kind of rare, rarefied air, if you will. Um, you speak to your chemistry with him and what he does so well to get open. Yeah, Josh. Josh is unbelievable. Um, you know, he's he's probably the best receiver in the country right now. And you know, he what's so good about Josh is how well he prepares for games. You know, he's in the film room with the quarterbacks. Um, you know, we'll, we'll be there late late at night, and Josh will be right in there with us. You know, he wants to dive into the game plan. And you know, most most guys, you know, they just want to know what's in the game plan, and then they they go out and execute it. But Josh truly wants to know why we're running, what we're running, um, just so he has a better understanding of what we're kind of looking for. And I think. You know, that, that really helps him um, on the field. And he just works so hard. He's, he's the hardest working guy on our team. You know, he's standing up to practice probably an hour every single day. Uh, you know, he's, he, he, lives, he lives in the indoor facility working on his footwork, all this stuff. You know, we, we have to try to tell him to calm down all the time just because he works so hard. But, you know, Josh is only going to continue to get better. Um, and, you know, he, he, did, he made a lot of plays for us tonight. Thanks. Adam Smith. Sam, uh, just wondering, you know, the polls say, what, Notre Dame is ranked 11th nationally. Um, I mean, if they're a top 15, top 10 type team, what, where do you think you guys might be? I mean, I feel like you guys were trading punches with them for, for most of the night tonight. I think <clears throat> I think we're certainly capable of being one of the top teams in the country. I just think we just lack consistency. I think we're playing at our best. We're, we're a really good football team. Um, but I think we struggled to kind of put it all together, um, you know, a lot of times this year. And it – and it led to a four and four record. Um, and you know, I think when we play at our best, we can compete with anybody in the country. And, and we truly know that it's just a matter of us being more consistent um, and playing complete games and in all three phases of the game. Um, but when we're at our best, you know, we, we like our chance against anybody, but we just got to work on, you know, just being more consistent. You know, we, we make way too many mistakes um, to be considered as one of those teams. Um, and we got to clean that up. Thanks, man. Ross Martin, go ahead. Hey, Sam, I know you don't like to talk about personal accomplishments and things like that, but you passed um, T.J. Yates with all-time passing record tonight. What does that mean to you in, in the realm of your career at UNC, doing it in, in three seasons and, and way less games? Yeah, I mean, it, it's definitely not why I play the game, but it's definitely something that, you know, I don't take for granted. You know, it, it's, a, it's an awesome, awesome deal. You know, I've had a lot of help um, to get where I am, and I'm just super blessed by God to be in a position I'm in and have all these people around me that, you know, allow me to go out there and have success. Um, you know, I, mean, with, I could be anywhere, anywhere in the world, and I'm and I'm here playing football with people that I love in that locker room, and you know, I, I truly enjoy being with those guys, and it's just super fun to go out there and fight with fight with my brothers. Um, so, you know, just the I think what I take away most from you know the records and stuff like that is just the memories and the relationships I've built along the way. It's it, it's been a lot of fun, um, and you know, I'm excited to finish this thing out. Yeah, and to follow up here, I mean, you've really added a running game to your. Um to your game, or a running attack to your game. What, what's that kind of like this season, ha adding that to uh, to your offensive attack? Uh, I mean, honestly, it really just feels like back to high school. I used to run the ball in high school probably 20, 25 times a game. And you know, that's truly what kind of what it feels like for me this year. Um, you know, when we need a first down, you know, I'm uh, in high school, I was the guy who's going to run it. And, you know, here we kind of go to the quarterback draw, play a lot. It's working for us. And I think our O-line is doing a really good job. We kind of invested a lot of time in the blocking the quarterback draw in the offseason, you know, working on blocking against blitzes, working on blocking against twists, because running quarterback draws 
when defense twists is really hard to do and our O-line's done a really good job of kind of picking that stuff up stuff up and you know, yeah I mean y'all see it when, when we run like the quarterback draws it's wide open um so really it's just credit to the guys around me um you know it's, it's easy to get numbers when the quarterback runs the ball and you can have the running back block for you um it's hard it's easy to out- outnumber the defense um and stuff like that so it's just a credit to coach Longo's game plan and, and the guys blocking in front of me great thanks man all right Sam thanks for uh, joining us tonight appreciate it appreciate it